Amiibo. Hi everyone, today I have my Wave 3 Amiibo collection and we're starting off with Bowser. I'm very excited to do this because I did the Wave 1 and Wave 2 collection a long time ago and now I'm just ready to do the Wave 3 collection. So let's begin. So when I was coming up with what we should do for this video, basically almost every Amiibo in this Wave I sort of have a story for. Sometimes funny, sometimes just a normal hunt. So yeah, I'll start with the story, then we'll go to basically photos, zooming in. Well, that's pretty much it. Now let's begin with my story for Bowser. So, it was pretty much before Wave 3 actually released. We went to Toys R Us and I was like, because I heard people getting Sheik's, Toon Link's, and Bowser's before Wave 3 was released. And I thought that was cool and I wanted to get one. And when I found Bowser in Toys R Us, I was like, Bowser, is this rare? And then, well, yeah, right now, we know that this is not rare. So there wasn't really much to Bowser, but let's just go in on the pictures and everything. So now we have Toon Link, and I was saying before that I have a story for each amiibo. So for this one, it is I was down in Florida, and I was looking for Meta Knight, not knowing that he was as rare as he is, because he's basically impossible to get, and he is a Best Buy exclusive. And so we ended up going to Best Buy, and we found a Toon Link, and I was like, ooh, is this rare? But now... We sort of know better. So next we have Sheik. Just like Toon Link, it's the same story where I thought it was rare. And at the time, it was really rare. Uh, when it released, there was only three of them at a target. And... I was, I guess I was misled to believe that it was rare, because if you look at it now, you can find it at GameStop. But yeah, here's Sheik. Looks pretty nice. Very bluish purple on the box. Not really much. I mean, he's a very interesting figure. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it with Sheik. So next we have Sonic. We got him near the day of release, but a couple days later at a GameStop, hoping they had anything from any wave we didn't have. It was just out of luck that we were able to grab ourselves not only a Sonic, but a Mega Man, which we'll be showcasing next. But yeah, this is Sonic, and at the time I really thought he was rare. I was basically misled on every single amiibo I've showcased so far, which is fine, because you still don't find that many Sonics, but yeah, here's Sonic. So yeah, as I was saying before, now we have Mega Man. I sadly do not know too much about Mega Man, but I'm sure some of you guys do, and I really <laughs> haven't played a Mega Man game before, so this is sort of new to me. I've played him in Super Smash Bros. before, and I, he looks like a great figure. Very blue, he looks like, he's just very well produced, I'd say, very well made. Not too detailed. Hmm. <laughs> like Kirby, and Jigglypuff for that matter, but an, a great figure, I'm sure, and here is Mega Man. So next we have Ike, and the way I got Ike is somewhat 
disappointing, but he was impossible to get. Basically, I had to go on eBay. I got him pretty cheap, but I'm just trying to let you guys know that I try to not support people who try to raise the price and, well, they just make it unfair. They should still sell at his retail price, and I hope you agree. So anyways, here is Ike. He is from Fire Emblem, if you don't know. He, he's, he's very well detailed. Not as detailed as Donkey Kong's fur, but he's, he's very detailed and very rare. So here it is, Ike. So next we have King DDD, and if you can't tell, it is one of the heaviest amiibos, and well, it's, it's surprising to pick it up because it has a little weight to it, like Bowser, unlike like Toon Link though, or Jigglypuff for that matter. And so King DDD is from the Kirby series. And he's also a very rare amiibo. I had to get it off of eBay. And I just try to not support people like this. Got it for a pretty low price. And it looks really just looks like it'd be from a Kirby game. The style of it. And it's sort of like Meta Knight, sort of. But yeah, here's King Deity. So now we have Rosalina and Luma. I'll just call her Ro Rosalina. Your my first thoughts about this figure: very bright and radiant. I mean, I love the light blue slash turquoise. It stands out a lot, and I like how it comes with a Luma itself. It is Target's first exclusive when it comes to amiibos, and it just looks very well made. Its quality level is very great. I wouldn't say this is in mint condition, but I say it's pretty close. But I, I'm very proud that I could have gotten a Rosalina, and I did not get this out of eBay. I got it Super Bowl Sunday, the day it released. I got there like an hour before Target opened, and it's it's disappointing that people have to do that to get some exclusive. It really is because I'm gonna have to do it that with Dark Pit soon, and it, it's just going to be chaos, because Meta Knight itself, that's, it's ridiculous. But here, Rosalina is, and she looks pretty nice. So, this is Rosalina. So next we have Lucario. I have a pretty funny story about him, at least I find it's funny. So I was in Florida, like, just hoping we could get a Lucario. I knew there was no way because the day we went for it, there was like a line out the door and it was just, it was just chaos. We just couldn't get anything. They were there at like six in the morning and it was ridiculous. So we were in Florida and we ended up going to a Toys R Us and I was on a luck streak because I was like, yay, I found Sheik and Toon Link. You know they aren't rare anymore. But yeah, we went to Toys R Us, and in a, we found in a drawer a Lucario with a sticky note saying, sell me on it. And I, I found it pretty funny, and we ended up getting a Lucario. And I'm still pretty surprised we ended up getting one of these. So here it is, Pokemon Lucario. So now we have Shulk, and I had to get him off of eBay. It's very disappointing because I really tried to get him, and I heard about that May re-release of him, and then it ended up turning into June, the last day of June. No one really knew about it. And we ended up having to get it because we saw it in stock on a website, but we were just too late. And I have to say, this Amiibo, if I even, I tried to hunt it a lot, and it's a pain to get. And I really do not try to support people 
who raised the price on them on eBay and stuff. It's 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 disappointing that that they have to get that far into it. I mean, at least people aren't aren't that into Amiibo anymore on eBay. They're lowering the prices a little, but it's just overall disappointing that they Nintendo had to make it so they had to go to that extreme. So here's Shulk, the only Xenoblade character from Super Smash Brothers. He looks very. It just looks like a great figure. So this is Shulk. And finally, we have Meta Knight, the Best Buy exclusive and the Very Hard to Get exclusive. Meta Knight is probably one of the rarest exclusives just because Best Buy really didn't handle him as an exclusive very well. And I hope they handle Dark Pit a lot better. And he's coming out tomorrow, and well, I'm just, I don't know if they're going to be good about it. This amiibo is very hard to get, unfortunately, just like Shulk, Ike, and King DD, I had to get it off of eBay. It was actually for a decent price, but Man Knight looks like the cartoon style of a Kirby game, just like King DD. And I just like how detailed his, he is, like his mask, his wings look really big, and his sword is somewhat golden. So here it is, Meta Knight. <laughs> 